how to reshape data from wide form to long form and then back from long form to wide form. Longitudinal data can be shaped in two different ways, long form or wide form. Right now my data is in wide form and what I mean by that is I have one line for each individual in my study. So I have their ID and then I have three variables representing different points in time. I have their age at baseline, age one, so this is age at exam one, age two, which is age at exam two, and then age three, which is age at exam three. This is just one way of structuring my data. Another way that I could structure it is I could have random ID as a variable, I could have an age variable, and I could have an exam variable. And so for each subject, I would have three lines of data. So one line would be their age at exam one, another would be the age at exam two, and the other would be the age at exam three. So maybe you're 30, 35, and 40. These two data sets contain the exact same information. The form over here on the left is called wide form. The form over here is called long form. And it's called long form because everybody gets, in this case, three lines of data, so you end up with a longer data set. I'm now going to show you how to transition from wide to long and then back to wide. The command for doing this in Stata is called reshape. If I type in db reshape, I get this window for converting data between wide and long formats. As I just saw before, my data is already in wide form. I want to choose this first option, which says go to long format from wide. So I'm going from wide to long. Now I have to fill in each of these boxes to tell Stata what the key variables are in this reshape procedure. The first thing I need to plug in is my ID variable. This is the unique identifier for every individual in your data set, which are, in our case is called RAND ID. In this variable box, this is where you're going to create your own name for the exam identifier. So I have data from exams one, two, and three, and I need to create a variable name that's gonna hold that information. So I'm just going to call it exam. And then in this base window, I need to tell Stata what the stub is, what the prefix is, for the age variable. So I have age one, two, and three. So Stata just wants to know that the name of this variable is essentially age, followed by whatever exam it was taken at. So once I fill those three things in, I can hit OK, and Stata has reshaped my data. It's reshaped it to long form. I can now go in and look at my data editor, and you see that the data now has a completely different structure. So I have subject 2448 here, and they have three lines of data. They have one line for exam one, one for exam two, and one line for exam three. And I have their age at each of those exams. That's called the long form of data. To go back to the wide form, I can just again type db reshape, and now I want to go to the wide format from long. My ID variable is still random ID. The variable that's sort of the longitudinal variable indicator, the thing that indicates time, I called exam. And the base names of the variables, are it's still age. I could have more than one longitudinal variable that I could fill in here. I could have age, um, blood pressure, et cetera. So I could put more than one variable in this um, base stub names of XIJ variables window. But I just have the one, and it's called age here. I hit OK and go back and look at my data and now see that we're, we're back to the exact same place where we started. We have the data in wide form with ID, age 1, age 2, and age 3. So that's how you reshape data between wide and long formats. Um, the reshape command can be a little bit fickle. Sometimes it gives cryptic error messages, but if you just be patient with it and remember this basic structure of going from long to wide, you can successfully convert the shape of your longitudinal data.